Take one man with a gnawing hunger for glory. Let him hear the thundering roar of a fight crowd in his ear. That's our story. The Darkened Ring, taken from the files of John Steele, Adventurer. Hello, friends. This is John Steele. Every once in a while, I reach way back in my files and pull out a story I want to hear. One of those uh, off-the-beaten-track tales of haunting mood and smoldering action. This is that kind of story. Now, I first met Joe West when I was a sports writer for one of the big New York newspapers. He's quite a different guy now than he was the first time I saw him. But I'll let him tell you about it. Joe? How do you get mixed up in the fight racket? I don't know. There's something about it. Smoke in the gym, the feel of a glove in your hand, the sweat, the blood, the roar of the crowd when you're going good, and the humming in your head when you're hurt and down. It ain't like nothing else in the world. Once you're in it, you can't get away. It's back a few years in New York, I'd fought a prelim at St. Nick's against a big muscle-bound ape, and he almost ruined me. But in the sixth round, I caught up with him, and the way he hit the canvas, I knew it was all over. After the fight, I dropped in at Harry's, a bar over on 2nd Avenue. It's near the hotel, and I guess I needed a drink. Hello, Joe. Hello, Harry. What'll it be? Dear. Yep. How'd it go tonight? Tough. Yeah, I know. Thanks. I caught the last two rounds on television just before the main event. Give me another. Sure. He gave you a hard time on the fifth. Yeah. Did he hurt you? Nah. Looked to me like... What's the matter? Huh? You spilled your beer. I don't know. I'll clean it up. Dizzy. Next one's on the house. Huh. I said to Abe, if Joe would keep his right up, he'd be taking most of those on his glove. That's how you got him in the sixth, wasn't it? What, what? What's the matter with you? Nothing. You don't look right. It's nothing. Well, drink your beer. Yeah. Look out, you're going to spill it again. Here. Thanks. How many you had tonight? Well, you wasn't even oh, reaching in the... Caught your fight tonight. Hello, Harry. Hi, Mr. Lasky. Mate, if that was a stinker, kid got belted in the second. I heard. Looked like he was having a hard time. I'm okay. Big guy can hit. Yeah. You come a long way. A year ago, you never would have caught him. No. Will you introduce me? Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Joe West, Jane Howard. Hello, Joe. Hello. Hello, I'll, uh, I'll see you, Harry. Sure, Joe. What's the matter with him? How are you feeling, Joe? Tired, I guess. Sure you are. Anything special you'd like to hear? No. Just something slow and easy, huh? Yeah, I guess so. Well, let's see. Uh, how about, uh... I hadn't anyone... Till you... I was a lonely one. To you. You like music? Huh? I used to lie oh. awake. I do. And don't you belong to Lasky? Be I came with him. I don't belong to him. Someone, someone in the wild it's a pretty song. You better go back. Why? I don't know you better. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm tired. I know. I'm a fighter. I, never I know. My love. Never gave my okay. Love till you Stay. Well, that's how it happened. Look, a couple of words, and that was it. Something about her, like like a little girl, I don't know. The way she talked, the way she said my name. Made me want to fight for her, or cry for her. I knew it wasn't right, I tried to tell her, but it was what she wanted, and we got married. 
From then on, she was always with me. Seattle, Portland, Sacramento, San Francisco. hundred dirty little rooms in a hundred towns, she was there. I never let her see me fight, but when I come home late at night, she'd be waiting for me and I'd tell her everything that happened. Sometimes I'd be mad if I'd lost, if I'd had a dizzy spell. I'd hurt her, but she always understood. She'd feed me, banish my cuts, say my name that way. And everything would be all right again. I was in Reno about six months later. I'd fought a tough little punk from New Jersey, and I was late getting back to the hotel. Baby? Baby? I didn't know you was asleep. I got tired. It's okay. You all right? Of course I'm all right. Come here, Joe. Uh, the light. Just leave it on. <sighs> Did he hurt you? No. You're cut. That's eh, nothing. Oh, it's nothing, I said. I lost. Yes. It's crazy. I was going good till the fourth. Had him tied up in the corner and he was hurt. Then he lets fly with a wild one, catches me on a year. I couldn't get going after that. Saw the openings. I was late every time. It's all right. Hands were like lead. I couldn't move them. Late every time. It's all right, Joe. Saw the openings. Couldn't come in. Did he hurt you? No. What do you keep asking for? You're so late. Well, no. He didn't hurt me. You've been drinking? So what if I have? Nothing. I lost the fight. Do you understand? He had me on Queer Street in the ninth. I'm lucky to get through the round. What are you trying to do? I didn't mean anything. I needed a drink. I was rocky. When I come out with a temper... All right, Joe. I'll get you something to eat. I don't want anything. Lie down and rest. Won't take long. I don't want anything. Lie down. (sighs) Did you mail the letters? Huh? Did you... What letters? I... What letters? Joe. Tell me. Please. Where are they? I... I put them in your pocket. I asked you to mail them. It's nothing, Joe. You just forgot. What's that? What? That thing. It's a Victrola. Where'd you get it? I thought you'd like it. Where'd you get it? I only made a down payment on it. Why? It's so lonesome, Joe, waiting for You know I don't want a lot of junk to cart around. I got a nut that carries it is. I'll take it back to This racket, you gotta move, you gotta move light. You're tying me down. I'll take it I don't back. want it, I don't want it. Just listen to it. Maybe it'll help. No. Listen to it. Remember? I'll turn it off. Leave it on. Baby, baby. Oh, it's all right. Whatever I do, whatever I say, I love you. I know. Remember that? I love you. Yes. I don't want to hurt you. I You're don't wanna... not. Jesus, wait. I'll be punchy in four months. Shh. Maybe I'll go haywire, but I love you. Get away from it. No. Give it up. There are other ways to make money. That's all I know. Please. Look, it's it's, it's in me. I can't get it out. Baby. It's all right now. Joe. Well, after that thing started to break right for me, I put together 12 wins in a row the last three main events. Papers began giving me the big build-up. Lou Getzey, my manager, was talking about a crack at the title, said we'd better start working our way east. Everywhere we went, the crowds was good, and the sports writers was calling me the up-and-coming challenger. With all the noise and everything, Jane seemed to get used to the idea of me staying in a fight game. At least she didn't say nothing more about it. She had the victrola and the song and me. She said that was enough. I was in Chicago about a year later. Lou had signed me into the Coliseum for the main event with Jackie Graham. And everybody said this was it. The winner was sure to get a crack at the kid and the title. Jane had been after me to let her see me fight, but it was Lou's idea to let her come to this one. He said I needed a lift. So Graham was good, fast on his feet. He could hit hard with both hands. We fell each other out for the first two rounds, but in the third, he caught me coming off the ropes, and I went down for an eight count. I hang on for the rest of the round, but when I go back to my corner, I know I'm hurt. I look down the third row at Jane. She's trying to smile back. 
In the fourth round, he got me in a corner, gave it to me with both hands. The crowd was on his feet yelling for the kill, but I covered up and took everything he had to give. When I went back to my corner, Lou ran out with a sponge in his hands, flicking water in my face. How you feel, Joe? Rocky. Smell this. <clears throat> More. No, that's enough. Ice bag on that eye, Vic. How's he hit? All right. You took everything he had. Yeah. He'll be tired next round. Where's Jane? Now forget about her. Where's she? She's there. I'm not looking. Forget She'll her. Look... You got a fight on your hands. Now be careful, Joe. Yeah. Stay away from that right. Yeah, yeah. Feel him out. Yeah. Feel the yeah, yeah, yeah. The Feel him out, Lou said. Feel him out. I kept my right high and stung him with a couple of lefts. Graham looked surprised. He closed in. I felt his right drive in hard under my heart. Couldn't beat him close in. I had to back off. Make him fight my way. I pushed him off. His right caught me on the side of the head. It was a good punch, but it didn't hurt. He was slowing up, and it didn't hurt. I backed off and looked at his feet. Sure, that was it. He was down on his heels, flat-footed, and his timing was off. I jabbed him, stepped back. He threw his right and missed. Then I saw he was off balance, wide open, so I tried it again. Jab, stepped back. His right whistled past my head, and I crossed with my right. His head snapped back. His mouthpiece flew out of his mouth, and he grabbed and held on. When the ref broke, his grin was glassy eyed and his hand reached out for the rope. I looked up at the clock. Still a minute to go. Gren was on his bicycle now, but I caught him in a corner right over his manager and let him have it. Right and left in the body and the right to the head. I could hear somebody screaming for him to cover up. Then my glove drove hard into his face and dropped to the canvas. Neutral corner! Neutral corner! Robot. I want to see Graham. Eyes out, kid. Leave him alone. Oh, you were beautiful, see. Joe. You look like a champ. Cover up, kid, and keep moving. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah. That time, two minutes and 36 seconds of the fifth round. The winner by a knockout, Joe West. <laughs> Come on, Jim, let's get out of here. All right. Watch the rope. Yeah. Atta boy. All right, let us through, please. All right, stand back, folks. Let us through, will you? Stand back, please. Let the boy get out of here. All right, break it up, folks. Break it up. Where, where's Jean? She'll be along in a minute. I want, uh, I want to see her. I told her to meet us in the dressing room. Uh, yeah, you were great, Jim. You know what this means to us? Uh, yeah, a chance yeah. at the big dough like we always wanted. Yeah. Come on, boy, get up on the table. Yeah. Jane? Uh, she'll be along. Uh, right hand. Hey, uh, Graham, yeah. I... Uh, he'll be okay. There. Left. I never saw you throw a better punch. There. Now, lie down. Joe. Joe. Uh, oh, baby. Are you all right? Huh? Did he hurt you? I couldn't watch. Uh, sh- Kept hitting you and hitting you and everyone was yelling. Sh- baby, baby. Are sh- you all right? Sh- sure, I'm all right. He didn't hurt you bad? Yeah. I couldn't watch, Joe. I wanted to, but I couldn't. I know. It was awful. It's all right now, baby. All right, baby. come on, Janie. We've got to work on our boy before he stiffens up. I'm sorry. Lie down, kid. Uh, it's the first time I've ever... Yeah, yeah, I know. <sighs> hey, hey, take it easy, Lou. <laughs> What's the matter? Oh, I forgot to tell you. What, Joe? The cleaner brought back that dress he lost today. Oh, that's good. Ah, buy a hundred someday. You know, this fight needs a crack at the title. Yeah, there'd be more than a crack if Joe keeps going like he is. Will that make you happy? Sure, baby, sure. You see the way he bounced back tonight? He was hurt in the fourth, hurt bad. But he'd come back and nailed his man in the next round. That's fighting. All right, other leg. Yeah. I thought he had you in the fourth, sure. Yeah, Graham's good. Yeah, sure he's good, but you're better. <laughs> oh, you know that dress the cleaner lost, baby? What, Joe? He brought it back today. Lou. Hey, he's tired, Janie. Yeah, he's tired. What's the matter? Nothing, Joe, nothing. Well, come on, come on. I gotta get out of here. That's uh, probably reporters. Can't they come back later? Yeah, I'll brush them off. All right, boys, break it up. Now, take it easy, will you? Come on, you. Where's Lou going? He'll be back. Uh, tough fight. Lie back and rest. I scared it, Grim. Lie back. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Cleaner brought back that dress he lost. I know, Joe. Uh, buy a hundred when I get that title. Yes, Joe. I know. Well, after that, Lou and Jane decided I need a rest. So we moved to New York so Lou could start working on the title bot, and me and Jane found a little two-room apartment on the west side. First time since I was a kid I'd lived in one place for more than a week. Felt good. 
I worked out at Stillman's gym every day, and at night we'd stop in at Harry's, and Abe would play the song. I knew they were worried about me because Lou never let me do any contact work, and every once in a while Jane would talk about getting out of the fight game, but I think they both knew I couldn't stop now, not with the little title standing me in the face. Look, money don't last forever, and after a couple of months I got tired of doing nothing. Sitting still is okay for guys that like it. It wasn't for me. I missed the likes and the crowds and going places and doing things. I kept after Lou. Get us signed up. And then one day we went down to the garden. They drew up the papers. Ah, it's a big deal. A lot of people. Porters, pictures of me shaking hands with a kid. My kind of living. I was on top of the world when I got back to the apartment that afternoon. But Jane wasn't there. I walked around kicking at the furniture, wondering where she was when she'd be back. And I turned on the patroller. I lay down in the bed. I was too excited to sleep. Just later, with my hands behind my head, thinking of the fight and the title. My watch was ticking in my ear. I was a lonely one. You spilled your beer, Joe. What? I said you spilled your beer. Oh, sorry. Hey, draw me another, huh? Sure, Joe. Here you are. Thanks. See, I can pick it up just like that. Nothing to it. Sure you can, Joe. Nothing to it. Hello, Joe. Huh? Who are you? Sure you can. I'm Jane. Say, you're some looker. Do you like music? Me? I'm nuts about music. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know we're going places, you and me. Are we? Sure we are. I love you. Joe loves Jane. Yeah. Jane loves Joe. You were terrific, Joe. Yeah, we're going to the top of the world, baby. That a promise? Sure. He never laid a hand on you. Don't forget. I never forget. Had him from the word go. Ah, he's a pushover. Sure he was. Where's Jane? Back at the dressing room. Come on, let's hurry. Take it easy. Joe. Joe, you were wonderful. Yeah, how'd you like it? He was a pushover. It was wonderful. You weren't scared? Of course not. That's my girl. Did you mail my letters? Sure, I told you. I never forget. I love you. Come on, kid. Gotta get you in shape for the title. Yeah. Joe. Get you in shape for the title. Ah, I never felt better in my life. Joe. Shape for the title. Okay, Lou. Joe. Huh? The title. Joe, it's the me. The title. What? The title. I... The title. Oh. The title. Oh, baby. The title. Are you all right? The yeah, title. Yeah, sure, sure. The you title. Left the tail on. The title. I did? The shut title. It off. The title. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, sure. I'm all right, baby. I, I, uh, I mailed the letters. What letters? The letters you get. What is it, Joe? It's nothing. It's nothing, baby. You lie there and rest. No, no, I'm sick of resting. I, uh, I, I wanted to tell you something. What, Joe? I, I can't re- Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We signed for the title today, baby. Oh. Yeah, I wanted to tell you. Where you been? I... I've been out. Where? I went to see the doctor. What did you do that for? Please. I don't need a doctor. Joe... I never felt better in my life. I didn't go to see him about you. You what? I'm going to have a baby. A baby? Yes, Joe. No. What? I said no. But... I don't want it, you hear? Joe. I don't want it. Tying me down, I don't want it. I told you, I gotta move. I gotta move light. It's part of the fight game. It's part of me, and I don't want it no other way. You're tying me down. I don't want any part of it. All right. All right. No. Don't play. I'll break it. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! It wasn't the same after Jane left. I moved out of the apartment, left the broken patrol, all our things, and went back to the hotel where I belonged. I couldn't get her out of my mind. Work and help, so I worked all the time. I got so Lou had a hard time finding pugs for me to work on. They said I was kill crazy and nobody going to the ring with me. Lou kept trying to slow me down, but they didn't do no good. Punch, 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 that's all I wanted. Weeks dragged by, and then the night of the fight came. The garden was packed to the roof. When I went in the ring, the mob got up on its feet and yelled, I thought, this is it, this is the top of the world. 
And the kid came in the ring. We're out in the center shaking hands, and the ref was talking. Roads to the New York State Athletic Commission. When I tell you to break, I want you to break. And I was back in my corner, and Lou was taking off my robe. I dug my feet in the rosin. Lou hit me on the back, and the bell rang. And I went after him from the bell. Bob and Reed jab and cross, keep following, waiting in. The kid looked surprised and backed off. He was counting nice, kept his left stuck out there in my face. I was taking punches, but I was given three for one. So at the end of the round, I got him in his corner, and the kid slipped and fell in a wet spot. The crowd was yelling, but he got up and laughed, so I closed in. Break it up, boy. Break, break, break. Hand it around, Abel. Come on, break. You lost your hand, Joe. No. Slow down. You won't go five rounds at that rate. I know what I'm doing. You're crazy. I'm doing a fight. You listen to me. Yeah? A kid's good. He'll knock your head off to keep like this. Now, slow down. Yeah. You hear me, Joe? Yeah, yeah, Slow yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow down, Lou said. How could I slow down? I've been waiting for this one all my life. The kid was dancing and weaving, and I waited in and went after him. Right and left, left and right, counter, Perry. No time to faint. Just stand and slug it out. In the middle of the round, he tied me up in the ropes, and I heard his voice in my ear. What are you trying to do, Wes? I'm knocking you out, kid. Okay, wise guy. Right, fella. Right, yeah. Then he was backing off and grinning, and I went after him again. Jab and cross, jab and cross. When I left, shoot for the heart and close. I looked over the clock. Fifteen seconds ago, the kid was coming off the ropes. I threw my right and caught him on a ear, and he went down. Crazy, John. Yeah? I spent seven years building you up, and you're throwing it away because you're crazy. Hit him, didn't I? If you don't slow down, I'm through. Yeah? And I walk out of your corner, that's all. Okay, okay. Now, you listen to what I'm saying. He'll stay away from you because you hurt him. But you watch him, Joe. He's smart. Watch him. Yeah, sure, Lou. Lou was right. The kid wasn't grinning no more. He was backing off and moving around. His left stung me. When I crossed with my right, he wasn't there. I followed him around the ring, but his left was always in my face, and I was missing with my right. Then we were tied up in the center of the ring. His voice was in my ear again. Okay, West, you've had your prayer. Yeah. Sweet dreams. I don't know where it came from, but a glove drove into my face, and my whole head exploded. I tried to shake off the blow, but the ropes was twisting in front of me, and the canvas was waving like a flag. Way off, I heard the ref counting. And knew I had to get up. What did he say? Seven? Six? Seven? Get up. I gotta get up. I pulled my feet under me and grabbed the twisting rope. Then I was standing up and the ref was wiping my gloves on his shirt. The kid's face was a blur around me and I felt his blows hit me four and five at a time. Then somewhere far away, I heard the bell. Lou had me around the chest and was dragging me to the corner. How you feel, Joe? You spilled your beer. Huh? How you feel? The letters, Joe. Uh, I'm, I'm okay. Want me to stop it? The title. No, 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 I'm okay. Smell this. Give it up, Joe. I'm okay, I tell you. Now stay away from him, Joe. The title. Yeah, yeah. Stay away from him. Give it up. No. Stay away from him, Joe. The title. The title, yeah. My legs felt like rubber when I stepped down into the ring and I tried to lift my hands, but the gloves were heavy. A kid was dancing around me. I didn't know where he was coming from next. Fist crashed into my jaw and then I drove hot into my stomach and I grabbed and held on. Then the ref focused and the kid was all over me. I tried to cover it up, but there was too many gloves I couldn't see. I felt the ropes against my back, and a fist exploded in my face, and I fell to the canvas. This is Lou, Joe. Joe. Open your eyes. The title. Give it up, Couldn't get up. How do you feel? Couldn't the get title. up. The title. Joe, Give it up, this is Lou. Lou. Lou? Yeah. How do you feel? The title. Okay. Give it up, Joe. The reporters want to come in. You up to it? Reporters? Yeah. The title. You up to it? Give it up, Joe. Yeah. All right, not too long, fella. Now, you still can't okay, okay, okay. We'll take it easy. We just want to ask him. How do you feel, Joe? Okay. What happened out there tonight? The title. Couldn't get off. Well, what was the punch that got you? I, uh, I don't know. Any plans for the future? Give it up, Joe. I couldn't get off. You want another crack at the title? The what? title. What? The title. What? Listen. You better come back later, fellas. He, he's not uh, ready yet. All right. Come on, all right, break yeah, it up, yeah, will you, boys? Yeah, yeah, right. uh, Joe, you take it easy. I'll be back in a minute. Come on. Come on. All right. The title. The title. The title. The title. 
Doing here? Yeah. Give it up, Joe. Couldn't get off. Joe, look at me. Give it up. This is Harry. Harry? Yeah. How'd you Joe. get here? I. I don't know. Give it up, Joe. You're all wet. You okay? Give it up, Joe. Couldn't get off. You need a doc. Give it Go on up, back Joe. and sit down. Give it up, Joe. Give it up, Joe. Give it up, Joe. Hello, Joe. Sorry about the fight. Give it up, Joe. I couldn't get off. Give it up, Joe. Of course Joe. you couldn't, Joe. Know just what you mean. Give it up, Joe. Broke the record, Ed. Uh, Give it up, when Joe. When I was too bad. Broke Jane's Give record. Give it up, Joe. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. Give it you, up, You just listen, Joe. Joe. I'll put it right back together again. I had anyone to you. Give it up, Joe. I was a lonely one to you. Joe, Joe. Huh? Lou called. I looked all over for you. Thank you. Yes, Joe. <laughs> I didn't know how sick you were. I, I couldn't get up. It's all right now. I mailed the letter. Of course you did, Joe. I never forget. I know. Just listen to the song. I spill my dear. Shh. Listen. Top of the world, huh, baby? Top of the world. Joe. The Darkened Ring, the story of a man who almost lost his right to a future in the violence of the present. Well, friends, because of a special broadcast, we won't be with you next week. However, if you like Joe's story, why don't you join us two weeks from this time? I'll have a man who learned that a misplaced love can lead to destruction. I like to call it men under pressure. So until then, this is John Steele saying, a life of adventure is yours for the asking, wherever you find it. Only don't look for it. It may find you. Well, goodbye and good hunting. John Steele came from New York. Follow clues down Mutual's Mystery Lane to further thrills and chills. Along the Sunday Avenue of Mystery and Suspense are Martin Kane, the two-fisted gumshoe, the shadow in a cloak of invisibility, true detective mysteries with real-life cases, and Nick Carter, master detective. Weekdays here, I Love a Mystery, every night over most of these stations with the fabulous adventures of Jack, Doc, and Reggie in eerie investigations. Remember, all roads lead to Mutual when you travel the mystery trail. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. <laughs>